Hello everyone, my name is David Lee. Uh, I'm talking to everyone from Shenzhen in China. Uh, Shenzhen is the city for producing most of the electronic products. And on the other side, Shenzhen also has a huge open innovation system. Uh, it's our pleasure to be part of this uh, open source and circular economic days. Uh, we like to explain to everyone about the productions of electronics, the recycling of electronics, and also the the future of open source and circular economic can play in these cities. So starting from the open source economy. Open source in software is relatively new in the past 20 years, uh, but it's also part of the fiber of making the Shenzhen uh, economic works. A uh, huge part of the uh, Shenzhen electronic productions is based on these ideas of Gongban, literally translate into these ideas of a public board. Also as this Gongmo and translating as the public casting. Under these models, the, 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 the Shenzhen has developed indigenous uh, open innovation systems uh, to let everyone who produce uh, electronic products to be able to uh, work with each other, to be able to based on what the society and the ecosystem has to offer. Uh, so I think in the future of the open source development, Shenzhen is going to play a very important role uh, in terms of pushing the open source, pushing the open hardware forward. And on the other side, China is also doing a lot of the recycling of electronics. Uh, right now, at the current level, there are a, a few different kind of uh, recycling happening in China. One of them is this uh, visual. Everybody has seen the uh, in the village, wrong village somewhere, uh, people are retrieving the, the chips out of the PCB ball. And when they are doing this, they are actually do, providing a very high value recycles because this chip gets back to uh, placing on the, a, a new device. The chip goes back to the new uh, systems. Uh, by doing this, this is cutting down the cost of the electronics such as cell phone, tablets, and computers. Uh, and this has a very big implication on how fast uh, these new innovations in the, the electronic device can spread uh, across the world to spread into the developing countries. But this is a very terrible way to recycle uh, because it's dirty, uh, it's environmentally, it's uh, very intense for the environment. Uh, but on the other one is the people are now starting to uh, circulate in the uh, the PCB by melting them down, by chemically breaking them down, and retrieving the precious metal out of it. A uh, huge amount of met, huge amount of the uh, the current gold circulations is being produced this way. Uh, but this has the drawbacks of the very low value uh, recycle. Uh, at the end of the day, you are melting down this. Uh, highly sophisticated manufactured chips, which is rated for 20 years. Uh, after using for two, three years, you melt them down and just to retrieve a very manure, uh, trace amount of the uh, precious metal out of them. Uh, we think the open source and the open core is the futures of this. Uh, it strike a best balance between these two. Uh, by making the ball open source, uh, the, the system, the, the ball can be reused, can be repurposed on different kind of the electronics. Um, because of the ball itself, we are reusing at the ball level. We don't need the dirty process to retrieve the chips out of it. And we don't, this can be a much higher value recycle, much cleaner recycle. So I think uh, as this electronics, as the Internet of Things, is going to rapidly grow and making them open source, making them based on the open designs uh, have a lot of implications on the futures of these um, economies. One of the goals we have, have the open source and the circular economic days in Shenzhen is to start kick off the conversations about the future's uh, possibility of having uh, more and more Internet of Things products to be based on open source design. 
uh, so they can be better recycled, they can be better reused, uh, and they can be they can save money, energy, and environment. At the same time, we are developing the new economies and bringing the useful Internet of Things to the markets. Uh, so this is our, one of our goal in having this in Shenzhen is to uh, facilitate these conversations, is to uh, dig deeper into how all this uh, electronics, all this open ball, all this almost open source ball works in, in Shenzhen and how to bring that model connecting to uh, the international community, how to connect it to a new international developers.